Hello, hello. Good evening to all of you. Welcome back. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It is a pleasure to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? Just tell me, how do you feel? Very tired. Really tired? A lot of work to do? Yes, a lot. <laughs> We are in the same situation. We are in the same situation. Good evening, Anna Lillian, how are you? How are you, teacher? Everything fine? Glad to see you, Carlos Rivas. Welcome back. Yes, teacher. Much better. Okay. Excellent. Brian Javier, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Claudia, Raquel, drink a lot of liquids. Yesenia, drink a lot of liquids <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, you need to drink a lot of liquids, not only water, but and use different kinds of liquid, you know. Okay, before to start, I would like to hear uh, how do you feel the development of the module? But be honest and tell me because I try to explain you when you don't understand something and you ask me, I try to help you. And that is the main goal for me, that you learn something. But I would like to hear you. Do you think that we are going in the right way? Just tell me. I know that sometimes it's really difficult for you to read maybe some words are new and uh, for that reason I'm, I'm giving you more time in order that you can get familiar with uh, those words and I invite you to have a dictionary in your cell phone maybe in order that you can look for the meaning of some words and at the same time, uh, you need to create your own vocabulary in your notebook. And from every class, maybe you can write down all the words that you don't know. But be honest, if you don't know, imagine 10 or 15 words, you can make a list. And later on, you can look at it in, in a dictionary. And that way, you are going to learn more but all depend on your attitude. You need to do it in that way, okay? And I'm here to help you, as I told you yesterday. Uh, no matter the time, I've been uh, trying to help you to clarify some ideas, not giving the answer, not giving the answer, but just giving some tip how you can solve some problem, okay? But I want to hear you. I don't want to, to be here only just speaking and you just listen. No. It's not that way. Teacher, tal vez eh, cuando nosotros hablamos y hay palabras que las pronunciamos mal, eh, tal vez usted nos podría apoyar en, en decirla o en ese momento decirnos eh, si la hemos pronunciado bien o mal. Porque parte de la repetición que uno oye a veces se le queda y tal vez uno, como lo oyó y usted no dijo nada, entonces uno puede pensar que está bien dicho. Ok. Eh, voy a explicar esto en español. Y espero se comprenda. Si ustedes han notado, generalmente después de que ustedes están leyendo algo, yo no corrijo. ¿Ya? Y lo, eh, la forma mía de corregir es la siguiente y se la voy a explicar. 
Eh, cuando hacemos una conversación, yo los oigo y no les digo, eh, mire, se equivoco aquí, pronuncie mejor esta, porque algunas veces eso, eh, como que no todos lo asimilamos de la misma forma. Entonces, para no eh, hacer sentir mal a nadie, yo lo que hago es que, si se han fijado, al final yo vuelvo a leer la conversación otra vez y ahí es donde ustedes deben de corregir todas aquellas palabritas que eh, tal vez ah, no han estado tan cerca de los sonidos que deben de producirse. Eso eh, lo aprendí a través del tiempo porque eh, me encontré con muchas personas que si en el momento que están leyendo les voy corrigiendo, al final va a llegar alguno y va a decir, no, ya no participo porque siempre nos está corrigiendo a cada rato, me interrumpe hacia aquí. No sé si me comprenden lo que les quiero explicar. Yes, ¿Sí? teacher. Yes, teacher, pero yes, en, este, teacher. en este caso pienso yo que es mejor corregir y si hay alguien que no le gusta que lo corrigen, mejor que lo diga para que usted no corrija solo a esa persona y a los demás, sí, porque si estamos para aprender, bueno. pienso yo que no hay alguien que ya lo sepa todo, y si hay alguien que, que lo sabe todo, pues está repasando y algún error ha de cometer también. Bueno, ahí... Comparto, yo, comparto somos... la opinión también yo, teacher. Sí, somos puede ser, todos... lo puede corregirnos en sí. el momento. Sí, todos no somos personas. Problema. Todos somos personas adultas, entonces sí, pasa pero, eso sí. con un niño o con un adolescente. No, yo, yo, les, con, yo les, no. Sí. Perdón, yo les comprendo todo eso, pero piense que siempre en medio de un grupo siempre hay uno o dos que tienden a tal vez no expresarlo acá, pero después lo expresan en, eh, con los supervisores y les dicen, mire, fíjese que él es y esto. Entonces... Claro, ustedes son libres de decir lo que ustedes consideren, ¿no? Pero una de las razones por las cuales yo no voy interrumpiendo es precisamente porque yo he aprendido que los métodos de corrección eh, yo los aplico de otra forma. Y quizás es posible que eh, en los módulos anteriores ustedes quizás han tenido eh, algo así parecido. Pero, por ejemplo, si le preguntamos a Carlos Antonio Escobar él sabe eh, cómo es la forma como yo he ido corrigiéndolos y, y es por eso es importante para mí esos 10 minutos y yo siempre voy tomando nota cuando llegamos a esos 10 minutos entonces yo le digo mire, se recuerda tal día que hicimos esto para no hacerlo enfrente de todos no sé pero si ustedes dicen no, hágalo así eh, yo sé que más de algunos no, no, no va a estar muy Yesenia, dígame. No, teacher, yo, yo pienso que estoy de acuerdo con la forma que usted lo hace, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros debemos de poner atención cuando usted está leyendo. Ahora, o sea, para escucharlo sí, y después sí. para poder pronunciarlo. Ok, Ajá. perdón, perdón. Hay otro detalle, si no lo han notado, se lo voy a decir en español. Cuando yo leo una conversación, yo siempre pregunto y les digo, y valga la redundancia, ¿alguien tiene dudas? ¿Tienen preguntas? Y todo el mundo me dice, no, no hay preguntas. Pero ustedes mismos se dan cuenta al momento que ya comienzan a leer, ustedes mismos van corrigiendo y dicen, esa palabra la digo de este modo. Y ¿Es, es cierto o no es cierto lo que estoy diciendo? Yes o no? Yes. yes. Ah, yes. ok. okay. But we are going to make a switch uh, in order to help you, okay? Don't worry about it. Let me check out the attendance now. Teacher. No nos emocionemos porque si no... Hola. Al respecto, eh, el problema de corregir en el momento que la persona está hablando es que se pierde como el guión o la idea que uno lleva en el es, momento. Yo creo es. que para llegar como a un punto intermedio, y sí, porque a veces uno, uno dice la palabra y... Uno cree que está bien y su cerebro la graba como buena. Entonces creo que entre medio de una este, línea y la línea del compañero que sigue podría ayudarnos diciéndonos eh, las palabras así como que más complicadas, eh, diciéndonos la, 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 la correcta pronunciación okay. para que se nos vaya quedando y así no se daña el, el guión, ¿verdad? Sino que eso así sería es. así como intermedias las asistencias. 
Entonces, sí, para llegar poco. así como a un punto intermedio, y sí, pues todos te, estamos aprendiendo, así es que tenemos que acatar las correcciones, porque para eso nos inscribimos, para aprender. Sí, la otra cuestión es eh, en español, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Han observado que cuando están haciendo conversaciones, yo voy subrayando palabras. Yes, teacher. ¿Sí o no? ¿Sí o yes, no? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Entonces, la persona que está leyendo, desde el momento que ve que yo subrayo esa palabra, es porque hay algo ahí. Pero yo no le digo. Yo solo lo hago de esa forma. Ahorita, porque ustedes... Eh, por la forma que, que, que me lo están expresando, yo se los estoy diciendo, pero generalmente yo no digo eso. Pero cuando yo voy subrayando, yo después siempre repito una vez para que se grabe. Pero nunca he tenido eh, en mi proceso de enseñanza de, de estar así como, mire, no se dice así. ¿Me comprende? Oh, o sea, sí, sí. Um, sí se le quería interrumpir. Este, tal vez no en sí como una corrección, mire, no se dice así, sino que a mí me pareció bien, creo que, no sé si fue ayer o antier, que señalaba usted las palabras y como al final del diálogo nos decía como a cada persona que nos habíamos equivocado, como que si la repitiera, pero sí. no, o sea, no era una forma de corrección, sino yo, o sea, sí nos estaba corrigiendo, pero sin en pequeñecer a nadie, ¿no? sí, ah, sin hacer es. sentir mal a nadie, ¿verdad? Ah, Entonces, sí. Entonces, de, forma, de esa forma, de forma que, para en, mí en, estuvo bien. En otras palabras, mi forma de corrección es bastante diplomática y tienen que acostumbrarse a ella. ¿Ya? Pero bien, ahí vamos. No se preocupen. Como yo les digo, estoy abierto a cualquier sugerencia. Por eso dije al inicio que cada clase que doy aprendo de todos ustedes. Yo siempre voy aprendiendo algo bueno. Y espero dar lo mejor de mí para que al final del módulo, pues, logremos los objetivos. Ok, voy con la atenta. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Bautista. Present. Eh, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, José Galileo. Galileo no se ha conectado ni una. ¿Alguien lo conoce? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Yes. Si no les ha comentado. Voy a escribirle algo. ahora porque ningún... Uh -huh. No, ninguno se ha conectado. Sí. Um, José Jonathan. Sí, mister. Ok, Jonathan. Um, Rodrigo. Rodrigo is not here today. I don't see you, Rodrigo. Hey, Juan Carlos Rips. Present. Ok. Eh, Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Welcome, Laura. Thank you, teacher. A pleasure to see you again. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Lorena Beatriz Mansor. Present, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. I want to see your face. I don't see your face. Your camera is off. I am stick, mister. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember that you need to, uh, to turn on your camera, please. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay. Uh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena. I'm here. Hi, Maria Elena. I am Mayra. the bottom. <laughs> Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Me cuesta decir ese, agregar esa F de porque en inglés, eh, si se han observado, la E es muda. Uh -huh. I, believe, etc. Entonces, me cuesta, me cuesta. <laughs> Miguel Ángel. 
Miguel Ángel. No. Ni ayer no lo vi a Miguel Ángel. I don't know what is happening. Es Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Santos. Misael. No, no está. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, Diego. Present teacher. Brian. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Dice Galileo que hasta el lunes iniciarían las clases. Porque ahorita ¿Sí? no puede conectarse. Y Galileo dice que ahorita no se puede conectar y iniciaría hasta el lunes. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, in order to um, start with the class today that we already started because we've been talking about different points and I'm going to follow maybe some of them in order that you feel better. Um, remember that at the end of the module, what I want, what I pretend in this module is that you speak English. But remember, if you want to speak English, you need to practice. You don't need to hear your name in order to write your hand and start speaking. Okay. And another thing is that I, I, I've been trying to speak in a, in a slowly way in order that all of you can understand because suddenly I speak so fast and maybe you, you don't catch what I'm trying to say, right? But I consider that most of you understand all my interaction. I suppose, I consider that. What do you think, Yesenia? Please, please say. Do you understand exactly what I'm saying? Or just a uh, 50%, 70%, 80%? I understand. Okay. What about you, Maria Concepcion? Maria. Hello, teacher. I see. I see that you are having problem with. Okay. Um. Let me see. Wendy. Tell me, Wendy. Yes, teacher. When I speak, when I give interruptions, do you understand everything that I'm saying? No. No, not everything. Okay, but at the end of the module, you are. Understand. At the end of the module, you are going to. Okay. Imagine if I give you an interruption. If you don't understand something, just raise your hand and tell me, teacher. Could you explain again? And I'm going to switch the word that I'm going to use in order that you can understand what I'm trying to say, okay? But remember, okay. this is intermediate level and for that reason, I can speak Spanish. I started speaking Spanish just because uh, I was to clarify some point with you, but just in the class, I need to do it only in English. But suddenly, uh, when we talk about grammar, and I consider that sometimes it's better to explain in that way in order that you can make the switch, I do it. Okie dokie. Okay, yesterday uh, we were performing uh, a conversation and I would like to continue with that because I want to hear you speaking. I know some of you that participated yesterday, but I would like to see the rest today. I don't know who wants to do it. Remember, we, we made trios yesterday. 
And you, we, we are going to start with, continue with the conversation that we have yesterday. Do you remember that? Do you want to do it or not? Just tell me. Hello. Yes, teacher. I remember. Okay, my question is this. Would you like to perform the conversation that we were practicing yesterday? Talking about only the student that didn't participate yesterday. Silencio total. I don't know why. Did you understand or not? Just tell me. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But maybe some are hesitating. Okay, ya le dije, es intermedio, no puede estar hablando tanto español. Lo que estaba diciéndoles es que me gusta oír hablar a todos y me gustaría que quienes no participaron en la conversación ayer lo hagan hoy. Por eso creamos tríos. Yo tengo en mente quienes participaron, pero este es voluntario. Entonces usted con su trío me va a decir, mi teacher, I'm going to do it. Ahí está Yesenia, dice, go ahead. <laughs> Sí, teacher. Ayer yo estuve en, en cuatro, o sea, un grupo de cuatro. Ah, okay. Y entonces solo participaron ellos tres y yo no pude, pues. O sea que a usted le dijeron, wait, wait. No, ni me dijeron. <risa> ah, okay. okay, but right now somebody can help you. Ah, Jonathan. Sí, sir. Uh, yo tuve problemas con mi inter en, en el momento ese del, del grupo, pero si... Sí, uh, no sé cuál era la, 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 la conversación, pero puedo participar. Ok, I'm going to show you. Let me see, I'm going to show you. Hello, teacher. Lorena. I, I am the first class today. This is the first class for you. Ok, I know that. Yeah. Welcome. Y sí me gustaría participar, pero sí, no, no sé de lo, es primera vez que me meto y, y no, quisiera okay. saber un poquito. Ok, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what we are doing. Hold on Thank a you. second, let, let me open my book here. Hold on a second. Remember that this level I have, uh, I get five weeks. We are going to spend five weeks in this level. Not like the basic one. You already know that, right? Ya saben eso, cierto? Let me see what it is. I guess it's this one. Okay, here we go. Is that one? Yes? Hello? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What we were doing yesterday was practicing this conversation. I remember that I read it uh, like three times or four, I guess. And I'm going to read it again in order that you get familiar with some sounds. But so please pay attention and take a pencil with you and write down the sound in the way that you listen, right? But I need a volunteer who wants to help me. Jonathan. 
I'm going to be Mr. Rivas and Jonathan is going to be Mario. I need uh, somebody that played the role of Jose. Who wants to be Jose? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. What's your name, sir? I Who I am? Know. Who I am? Okay, okay. Remember that when I'm presenting, it is difficult for me to see your names. Cuando estoy presentando algo, se me dificulta ver sus nombres. Beatriz, teacher. Okay, Beatriz. Jenny. Uh, Jenny. Yes. And? Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm Mr. Rivas. Well, let's get started. After conducting a swap analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this prior. Right. Let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitor. Okay, hold on there. Hold on there. Saben lo que significa eso, cierto? Yes. When I say hold on. Que nos detengamos. Espera un momentito. Okay, right. Let's describe the strengths with an S. Yes, it's plural. Strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. Okay, continue, Jose. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to all the customer by C agents. Okay, we offer flexible schedules to adopt to our customer busy agendas. Continue. Besides. Besides. Oh. Ah. No. Besides, we all allow them to practice their public speaking skill since the first class. Okay, hold on there. Besides, we allow them, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. Okay, oh, it's my turn. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our witnesses. Do it, do it, do it, Jose, Jose. All right. What's our witnesses about? Businesses are areas in which the competitors, com corporations are competitive disadvantage in our case, uh, business might the lack of parking space for our customer. Okay, our hold, hold on there, hold on there. Witnesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantages. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for our customer. Okay, my story again. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats of danger upside that could affect the company. Okay, that's it. Somebody else want to do it? Ok, ok, what we're going to do is this. Lo que haremos es lo siguiente. Cada uno me va a leer las partes que le correspondió y donde yo leí. Vamos a ver qué cambios hubieron. Do it. Comience el papel de Mario, por favor. And Jenny, teacher. No? All right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantage we have all over our competitor. Advantages. Advantages. Advantage. Advantages. Continue. Continue, please. We offer flexible statue to adapt to all the customers 
basic agenda. Mm -hmm. I got you again. No escribió, no escribió. Vice, ¿cómo es? <laughs> Somebody help, help her. How do you pronounce the word? BC. BC. Ah, okay. BC agendas. All okay. right. Agendas. BC agendas. Agendas. Right. Agendas. Okay. Mario again. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. Okay. Public speaking skills. Public public speaking skills in the first class. Okay, continue, continue. What are the witnesses about? Mm, and what about the plural? We have the plural here. What are the witnesses about? Witnesses about. All uh, right. What are witnesses about? Okay, Mario. Teacher. Hello, sir. Question is what are or what are? Right here, say what are, what are. Okay. No, with this. We don't have any S here. What's, no, what, what are. Mario? Witnesses are areas in which the competition Corporation are completely dis disadvantaged. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for our customer. Completely. Somebody want to help in? Competitively. And the next one? Disadvantage. 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 Se dan cuenta y estamos haciendo como un review. But when I ask question, do you have question? And you say no question. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? No. Me teacher. With? <laughs> Jenny. Okay. And? Teacher. Okay, good. Solo una consulta, teacher. No estuve en la casa de ayer y no escuché bien ahorita. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la parte donde dice SWOT analysis? ¿Es así? Where is it? Eh, primer párrafo. What analysis? Ah, Shop analysis. Analysis. Shop analysis. analysis. Okay. Well, let's get started. After conducting a what anal analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strange that means the advantage. Uh, we have our, our competitors. competitors. Hello. Jose? No hay Jose. Who is Jose? Me, teacher. Me. We offer flexible steps to to adapt to our customer cruising agenda. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After dis discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. 
in our case, uh, weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay. What happened with this word? Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, I consider that uh, maybe you already got uh, more sounds about this conversation. I don't know if you have any questions about from here. Any questions? No, no questions, teacher. No, teacher. Solo con y no va a dar un punto. Okay, it's a good point when you are for a point. A negotiation. No, 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 no. Okay, and also, do you remember that we were talking about how to reduce out very close of time and I and I send you an extra material? Do you remember that? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. But let me see. Um, Okay, let me see something here. Because I, I have a lot of information about it. But there is something uh, specific that I would like to talk about. Okay, do you remember what is the meaning of the acronym SWAP? Who wants to tell me? What is the meaning of the acronym of the acronym SWAP? Stretch. Okay. Continue. Weaknesses. Weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, let me see what we're gonna do is this. I'm going to share with you something here. Let me see what is it. The dog is barking, but it's not here in my house. It's not here in my house. Okay, let us talk about this swap analysis. The meaning of these four words you already mentioned the strength, witnesses, opportunities, and threat, right? Okay. As you can see, uh, today we need to talk about this. We need to know what is swap analysis, what is uh, AMO swap analysis, who needs swap analysis, and so on. Let, let me go forward and what's going on here. Okay, let, let us talk about this. Okay, the acronym for swap, it is a strange witnesses, opportunities, and threats. That is um, a specific, right? And this is a technique that is uh, created to, this, uh, to the Stanford University in 1960s and 1970s. In another word, they, they, they invented something like that. And also it's a planning tool used to understand the forward that we already talk about in a project or in a business. You need to be clear that. Teacher, a question. Okay. Uh, opportunity is by right, correct? Opportun or opportunity? Yes, opportunity is, okay. 
You are talking you? about right here? Oh, pur. Ah, right here. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. old. Yeah, yes, yes. There, there's a mistake. Ah, okay. Because yeah. we have it in the right way right here. You got eagle eyes. Tiene buen ojo, cierto? Okay, that's right. We are going to put the letter O there. Let me see. I'm going to try to do it now. Suddenly happened. Hmm. Hold on a second. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Can you see it now? Yes? Yes. yes. I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I'd be really sorry. As I was telling you, we use a framework for organizing and using data and information gained from a situation analysis of internal and external environments. And remember that we are going to use the SWEP analysis in a product that later on you are going to work about that. Uh, you are going to choose uh, a product and you are going to apply the, the four steps, you know? And also uh, we know that this is a technique that enables a group of individuals to move from everyday problems or traditional strategies to a fresh perspective. That means that you need to know how to do this. But I'm going to give you some example. Don't worry about that. In order to know how, how you are going to use this web analysis. But I don't want to be the only one that is going to be written here. I need a volunteer who wants to help me to read, please. And later on, we are going to discuss Okay, uh, me. Okay, strength. Um, characteristics of the business or a team that give it an advantage over others in the industry. Positive, tangible, I don't know if <laughs> it is pronounced, and intangible. Uh -huh. How pronounced? Well, tangible and intangible. <laughs> and intangible, okay. Attributes okay. internal to an organization. Okay, hold on there. Hold on there, mm -hmm. please. Let us review the third one. Characteristic of the business or a team that give it an advantage over other in the industry. What is, what, what is the meaning of that? We talk about strange. We are talking about characteristic of a, a special product or business that give advantage over other product or industries, yes? Let us imagine that you are going to create uh, a shampoo, for example, and you start saying, okay, in, in the market, we can find Tio Nacho is a famous shampoo because this, 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 okay. I'm going to create something different that got good effects, and you start making a swap analysis. And you have to look for opportunities, but also you need to look for threats and strength and weaknesses about that. One of the weaknesses could be that already exists a product that is known in the market, that people use it, and you need to look for how you are going to do to put in the market and that the people call uh, their attention. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to explain. Hello? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. But tell me something. Tell me. Hello. Remember that we are talking our our main point here is just to talk about the swap analysis. And I need that you understand the process that we are going to follow in order to, uh, to do it. It's really, really important that we understand exactly what we are going to do when we talk about a strain, for example. <clears throat> Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> okay, well, let us talk about, uh, imagine this one, talking about positive, tangible, and intangible attributes, also internal to an organization. What is the meaning of that? In your own world, tell me. En sus propias palabras, dime. Sure. Tell me. For example, uh, uh, one point to advantage to positive is the mark. For example, one enterprise uh, giving the market a new product, if the mark is uh, forced, uh, the product have a uh, attraction for the people. For example, uh, Coca-Cola. Okay. When Coca-Cola put in the market a new product, a new bottle, a new can, uh, the market have the force in the market. Okay. It's an intangible attribute. Attribute, okay. okay. Uh, they, they sometimes read the presentation. Uh, do you remember? Uh, those moments when some people buy a cook looking uh, his or her name on it. Do you remember that? Yes or not? Or the branch. Se recuerdan que hubo un momento que la Coca-Cola estaba sacando algunas latas con diferentes nombres de personas. And some people used to buy it just because uh, his or her name appeared on the can. Yes. Do you I remember? All names of the family. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you buy a lot of in order to collect the name of your family, right? Marketing, that is marketing. Okay, what about the third one? Beneficial it's, aspect it's of- It's intangible features. Maria? This is this example that you say is intangible because it's a name in a bottle. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. What about the number three? Who wants to read it? Only one, please. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Okay. The beneficial aspect of the organization or the cap capability of an organization which include human competence, process, capabilities, financial resource, products and service customer, goodwill and brand loyalty. Okay, thank you. Beneficial aspect of the organization or the capability for an organization which, is, which includes human competencies, process, capabilities, financial resources, product and services, customer goodwill and brand loyalty. And we have uh, some examples, abundant financial resources, well-known brand name, economies of scale, lower cost, raw material or processes, 
superior management talent, better marketing skill, good distribution skill, and committed employees. Do you understand the, the examples? When we talk about abandoned financial resources or well-known branch names, that uh, all the, uh, that are beneficial aspect of the organization. Economy for the scale, lower cost. You know, you know what is a raw material, right? For Hola. example, in abundance, financial resource is not same um, plan international uh, with feed the children, for example. No, uh -huh. same <laughs> Okay. Any questions so far from here? Hello. Is that clear? No, what, what is a strange? Yes. Okay, in your own word, tell me. Let me stop sharing because I want to be go a step by step. Who wants to tell me? In your own words, and sus propias palabras. Let me see, let me see. The one, please. Yes. For example, teacher, if you want a product or service is better than all of the products. In the... Um, For example, uh, if a uh, more resource uh, financially um, is not saying um, el comedor de la niña Tonya, que pollo campero, for the resource. Talking about food, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a hungry. <laughs> talking about food <laughs> and I didn't have the time to take my dinner, you know. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Let us continue talking about this, but but I need that all of you talk about because later on you are going to make some exercises about this because our main point is swap knowledge today. Okay, let us talk about witnesses. I need volunteer who wants to read it and give me an explanation about it. Me too, teacher. teacher. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. Hello. Lo dijimos los dos, teacher. Okay. I don't know who wants si to quiere do una, uno, oh, one una one. La siguiente. Yeah, one and one, and one okay? Okay. okay. You first. Characteristics that play the film at a uh, disadvantage relative to other. Ah, huh. okay. When we talk about witnesses, we are talking about characteristic that place the firm at a disadvantage relative to other. Ah, okay. What about the next one? To track the organization from its ability to attain the core goal and influence it's growth. Influence. 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 Okay. <laughs> what about the third one? And later on, you are going to explain it. Mm -hmm. do, do you know what is the meaning of the word you track? 
to track the organization from its ability. What is that? <clears throat> somebody, somebody else, somebody else, please. En español se lo puedo decir. Yeah, tell me in Spanish. Ok, yo creo que es como, al, como algo que se puede arruinar, algo que puede arruinar la organización, algo así. Ah, the track creo. es Ajá. distraer según recuerdo. Mm. But in this context, what is the meaning? Es como retroceder. Mm -hmm. Different words in Spanish, you know. We have a lot of words in Spanish. Desmejorar la organización would be one of those words. Opacar la organización and, you know, could be another meaning. Remember that in Spanish we have a lot of words. But in English, we are specific, detract the organization from its ability to attain the core goal and influence its ground. Okay? The ability to what? Tell me. Attain the core goal. What, what, what is the meaning of attain? To attain the core goal. Atenuar. La habilidad de. De alcanzar, de cumplir. Mire cuántas palabras. De alcanzar, lograr. cumplir, lograr. What else? Llenar. And, okay. and, and so on. Bueno, ese va a ser el trabajo de cada uno, buscar esas palabras. Uh, you are going to build up your own vocabulary about these words, and you are going to write down all the meaning that you want to write down, okay, in Spanish. But try to use it, because if you only write down and you never use it, that's, that means that it's going just to be in your, in your notebook. But you need to create a connection from one from this notebook to your, to what? Mine. I can hear you, I can hear you. <laughs> Mine. Que conste que no le estaba haciendo propaganda a algo que salía ahí en ese cuaderno. Okay. Um, what about the number three? Somebody wants to read it? Weaknesses are the factor which do not meet the standards we feel they should meet. However, weaknesses are con control controllable, controllable. They must be min minimized and eliminated. Minimized and eliminated. Getting shorter. Okay. Minimize and eliminate. Okay. And we got some example limited financial resources with the span on RD. It is like uh, the name of the company. Very narrow product line, limited distribution, higher cost, out of date product, technology with market image, poor marketing skill. Limited management skill under training employees. Remember that you are going to need all those aspects at a moment that you are going to create or make your own swap analysis. Make a screenshot, please, because you are going to need it later on. Question? Question? Teacher. Hello, sir. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra controlable? Controllable. Controllable. Okay. But let, let me look. Let, let me look here. I'm going. Uh, let me try to show you something. According to the 
according to, to the, the dictionary. Let, let me show you something here. I'm going to show you the script. Okay, what is it? Ten, ten second, please. All right, it is it's not gonna be easy for me to write it down something, but I'm gonna put it here. Let me try to, I was thinking that I was in a PDF file, but it's not true. I'm gonna put it here. And I'm going to show you. Hold on a second, please. Here we go. Where is it? Where is it? It's here. Now you can see it. Hello? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Controllable. Okay, right here. Controllable. Remember that you need to get uh, together your lips. Bowl. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Let us continue because of the time. Let me see. Oops, we need to check up the attendance now. Later on, we are going to talk about the opportunities and we are going to make an exercise about it. No me recordaron de la asistencia hoy. No sé qué le pasó a Francis. La asistencia, teacher. No, no, no. Hasta que le dije. Ya quizás está comiendo. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Present. Maybe you are eating, Francis. <laughs> I am here, teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Eh, Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Hernández Hill. Present. Martínez Gámez. Present teacher. Barrera Hernández. Vigil Hernández. Present. Okay. Hernández Rodrigo. Present. Rivas Jovel. Present. Vigil Vázquez. Present, teacher. Lorena Beatriz. No le oímos, Lorena. If you are speaking, I can hear you. I don't know why. Present teacher. Ah, okay now. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Uh, Maria Elena. I'm here. Uh, Mayra. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Veralice. Okay. Um, Miguel Angel. <clears throat> I don't see Miguel Angel. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Eh, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Good evening. Santos is there. Okay. Yes, teacher. I, I just joined to the, to the English session. Okay, welcome, sir. Welcome. I know some time is really difficult. We got coughing traffic. Suddenly, our vehicle 
uh, stop working the right way. Do they happen to me? I was thinking that, uh, I guess that was difficult for me to, to be at on time with you, but thanks to God I'm here, but I had to look for the help of an enterprise to take my vehicle to my house because the, the body shop is closed at night. That means that tomorrow I need to look for, but well, that usually happens, don't worry about it. Wendy? Present teacher. Jenny? Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia Lisset? Present teacher. Diego? Present teacher. Brian, Javier? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, let us continue talking about the swap analysis. Let me see, we wanna talk about this. Okay, who wants to talk about opportunities? Remember, you can read the fair item and you can explain in your own word, okay? Volunteer, please. And also you can tell me what you see in the picture, explaining that. I mean me that you- Me Okay, and then Jonathan, the next one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, do it. Change to make really profits in the environment, external, attractive factors that represent the reason for an organization to exit and develop. Ah, okay. Change to make, remember this is plural, to make greater profits in the environment, external attractive factor that represent the reason for an organization to exist and develop. Okay. What do you understand okay. about that? Okay. Or somebody else who wants to talk about it. Or you are going to read it and later and you are going to explain it. Because, uh, okay, one of you can read and another one can give me an explanation with your own words, because what I'm, uh, what I'm doing is just uh, that I need that you use your vocabulary that you have in your mind. I would like to see, I know that you are able to give me an explanation with your own words. Okay, the second one, Jonathan, I guess. Arise when a, an organization can take benefit of condition in its environment to plan and execute strategies that enable it is to become more profitable. Ah, okay. Arise when an organization can take benefit of condition in its environment to plan and execute strategies. Okay. Who wants to tell me something about this? Only one, please. Teacher. Only you, only one, only one. Give me an sure. explanation. Hello, sir. What's the meaning of arise? Ah, okay, okay. It's in your teacher. Tell me, what is the meaning? Arise says levantarse. Arise. Incrementar. Aumentar. Aumentar. Okay. A lot of words. For the reason sometimes I, I don't like to translate into Spanish, but I ask you in order to be sure that you know what we are talking about. Because there are a lot of words and all the penalty context that we have. Una palabra, ¿ustedes ya saben eso? 
puede tener muchos significados dependiendo del contexto. Algunas veces pueden tener cinco, seis, siete, depende. All depend. Ok. And don't worry if you don't understand exactly the, the old words of this item. But if you understand the keywords, you are going to make your own concept about it. Ok. No se preocupen si ahorita no comprenden todas las, las palabras, pero si entienden las palabras más claves, ya con eso ustedes hacen su concepto. Don't worry about that. Ok. Next one. I saw a hand up. Santos, I guess. Ok. Organization should be careful and recognize the opportunities and grasp them whenever they arise. Opportunities may arise from market, competition, industry, government, and technology. Okay. Okay, organization should be careful and recognize the opportunities and grasp them, grasp them. Whenever they arise, opportunities may arise from market, Competition, industry, government, and technology. Okay, and we got some example. Rapid market ground. Our rival firms are complacent and changing customer need, taste, new use for product, discover, economic boom, government, deregulation, sell decline for a substitute product. Okay. We, we need to look for different opportunities. And later on, you are going to create your own product, okay? Let us continue talking about the last because you need to, to create your own. Okay, what about threats? Who wants to talk about that? Hello? Let me look a name here. I'm going to look a name and I'm going to ask you to read it because I want to hear you. Okay, Carlos Escobar, you are so shy today. I don't know why. Okay. External el element. Okay. Yeah, em environment that's good, good chaos, trouble. For the, for the business, external okay. factor, beyond so an organization, control, which could place the organization to mission or operation at, at risk. Okay. What do you understand about? Uh, something, uh, element with the affect the, the organization or the product or okay. Disney. Okay. I know that you have a clear idea. That is the reason why I choose. Okay, thank you. External element in environment that could cause trouble for business. External factor. Oh, take a look at this. External factor beyond an organization control, which could place the organization mission or operation at risk. Remember that all the organization must have vision and mission. You already know what is what I'm talking about. If I ask you to tell me what is your vision in your company, what is your mission in your company, you need to have in mind, okay? Okay, the second one. <clears throat> Somebody else, please. Well, I need to choose another. Me too. Okay. Me. Arise when condition in external environment. Eso no sé. Yo paradise. Yo paradise. Yo paradise de re reliability and prof profitability 
of the organization business. Yeah. Okay, do you know what is the meaning of the word jeopardize? Hello? Uh, like compromise. Danger. Something danger. Danger, okay. Jeopardy, it is like uh, putting risk. In Spanish, tell me in Spanish. Poner en peligro, teacher. Ah, okay. Arriesgar. Sería como comprometer. Hacer peligrar algo, hacer caer, eso es jeopardize, ok. Esas son las palabras que debemos ir anotando ahí. Está temblando. Yeah, 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 I feel it, right here. Jesus, my goodness. It's more than seven, I guess. Because right here in this area, I'm feeling terrible. It's still moving. I'm going to stop sharing now. Terrible. Yeah, we are like an earthquake. Still now it's moving. My chair is moving. Yeah. And even my table here. In my house too. Okay, be careful and slow down. Try to calm down. Relax. Basically, Paul. Need to control yourself. Be sure that your family is in the right way. <clears throat> don't run, don't run, don't stand and run. No, 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 no. Hold on there. Be careful, be careful. Okay, thanks to God, everything is fine now. Okay, let us continue. Ooh, a lot of a lot of you lost your connection, maybe your cameras because you are taking care of your babies. Okay, you can do it. Don't worry. Everything okay in your houses? Yes. It's okay, teacher. It is okay. Okay. That is why, why uh, one of the reasons why I don't like to have any of me. Yeah. Okay, later on tomorrow, we are going to see the news in order to be sure what happened. Not today. It's going to be tomorrow. Okay. We already read the number two, right? Okay, what about number three? Compound the vulnerability when they relate to the witnesses. Threats are uncontrollable when a threat comes. The stability and survival can be at stake. And we have some example entry of foreign competitors introducing a new substitute product, product life cycle, in decline, changing customer need, taste. Uh, rival firms adopt new strategies, increase government regulation, economic downturn are some example. If you want, you can make a screenshot now because later on you are going to use it. I already told you. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. 
and we are going to study something okay something else here sure. hello hello puede poner la de opportunities un momento okay. please okay 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 hold on a second please permítame un segundo <coughs> Where is it? A few opportunities. I don't see it here. Is this? Okay, hold on. You are going to remember the the movement. It's kind of earthquake, maybe. Okay, hold on a little bit. Because there are a lot of but we are now going to study everything because we don't have enough time to do that. But um, at least you are going to have some ideas about the swap analysis. Because this is a default topic. Opportunities, opportunities. Okay, right here. Yes, it's this. Okay, I got it here. I got it. Okay, you can make a screenshot if you want. <clears throat> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Hold on. Okay, here we go. How we are going to use the swap analysis. That is the main purpose. We already talked about different aspects of our characteristic. And now uh, we are going to talk about what's going on here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aim of swap analysis. One of the things that we are going to, why we are going to use it is just to help decision makers share and compare ideas. And that is to bring a clear common purpose and understanding of factor for success. Another thing is to organize the important factor link to success and failure in the business world, or also to analyze issues that have led to failure in the past, or to provide linearity to the decision-making process, allowing complex ideas to be presented systematically. As you can see, we have uh, something helpful, but at the same time, we got something harmful. You know what is this, right? And in other words, 
when we talk about health, what we are talking about, about what? Stretch. And? Opportunities. And something hurtful is? Weaknesses. And? Threat. Threat, okay. Make a screenshot, please. You don't need to write down everything because later on you are going to use it. Okay, here we go. What you can see in the picture, tell me. What is the picture telling you? Take notes. Aha. Okay, we need to write down our ideas. Take excellent notes. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Excellent notes. Yeah, yeah, but what is the meaning? Not, not, not the translation. What is the meaning of that? Strange, mister. Mm, yeah, but, 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 but. Uh, <laughs> but when, when say, take excellent notes, what is excellent notes? Write down the, the correct ideas. Ah, okay. In another words, the, ideas. the main points. Okay. Point. Important points. Okay. I know that you know what we are talking about. Okay. Who needs? Okay. That is important. Who needs swap analysis? I'm not going to show you the whole presentation because it is a lot of information, but I, what I want is that you have only just some ideas about that. Who needs swap analysis? Number one, management. When supervisor has issue with uh, work outputs, assigned to a new job, New financial year, fresh targets, job holders six to improve performance on the job. Talking about management, but also about business units. When the team has now met its targets, customer service can be better. Launching a new business or product, you need to pursue a new business. New team leader is appointed. And the third one, company. When renew costs and expense targets are not being achieved, market share is declining. Industry conditions are unfavorable launching a new business venture. Make an screenshot. This is really important. All depend on your position in your company that you need to know. And maybe I'm not going to show you the whole information because I want you, you can uh, make your own. Okay, who needs swap analysis? We already talked about this, but strategy analysis is also required for a strategic planning good and services evaluation, and some time brainstorming meeting. And you are going to give some new ideas and you are going to say, okay, we are going to switch the presentation of this product because uh, there is another product that is taking advantages of this one because of the presentation, because of the price and so on. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes? And also, uh, when we are going to launch a new product, if we are going to make an evaluation of the computer, and we need to know the effectiveness in market, or maybe you are going to make a decision, decision-making, personal development planning, and also product evaluations you are going to evaluate your product. 
and you are going to say, it is this really cool that the people is going to choose it and buy it. Okay, and I'm in a hurry because I need to, let me see, maybe this is gonna be the last one and later on you are going to work in your activities. Uh, you are going to analyze internal and then external environment. At the same time, you are going to perform swap analysis and documents about that. And you are going to prepare an action plan, what you are going to do after that you perform a swap analysis of the product. But don't worry that we are going just to talk about a product. No, we are not going to talk about uh, maybe a company as a whole only just about a product. But let me show you some example because I want you to practice. This is kind of a review about what we've been talking about. We already talked about a strange that could be technological skill, leading branch, distribution channel, how you are going to distribute your product, customer, Loyalty or relationship, product quality, scale, and management. Remember, right here, we are including in other words. And when we talk about opportunity, we are talking about changing customer taste, uh, technological ad advantages, uh, changes in government politics, uh, lower personal taxes, change in population age, new distribution channel, how you are going to do it. That means that you are not going just to put, uh, to show it in the supermarket, but also you can do it by Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. We are talking about different channel and all those are opportunities to increase. But at the right side, we had the witnesses that could be absent of important skill with brands, poor access to distribution, low customer retention, and so on. And talking about streets, changing customer uh, base, closing of geographic market, technological advances, and changes in government politics that increase, changing population age, and new distribution changes. These are internal factor and these are external factor. We have positive and at the same time we have negative. But let me show you the exercise that I got here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because I need to show you something here, but I need to wait until all, all the, the information appear there. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm going to stop sharing and look the right slide that I need to show you because I don't want to be showing you everything because maybe you are going to get confused. Okay, you need to pay attention about this because uh, it is really important that you know. But let me see the exercise that we are going to. Hold on, because there is a lot of information. Okay, here we go, I got it. And I hope that you understand what I'm trying to, to, to show you. Here we go. And okie dokie, I got it here. Okay, tip and exercise. We are going to give you some tips. Who wants to read the first one? This one. Hello. In conducting a swap analysis, designate a leader or 
group facilitator. Okay, keep in mind, keep in mind, you, yeah, you need to look for the leader in your group, okay? Another one? Introduce the shoot method and its purpose and your organization to again accept them. Uh -huh, okay. okay. Uh, what about this one? Okay. Um, while doing a SWOT analysis for your job, invite someone to brainstorm with you. Okay, you are going to have a uh... Okay, later I'm going to tell you how many you are going to work on this. Okay, what about this one? This council uh, record the results, prepare a writing summary. A of the summary. Suits, uh, summary. To be the participant. Of this SWOT analysis to get the participants. Okay. Okay, you are maybe you are not going to prepare a summary, but you are going to explain it. And the last one? Be willing to break away from traditional methods. Ah, uh -huh, okay. That means that you can create your own method. Okay, here we go. Assume that a car manufacturing company has recently launched its product and you are going to perform a swap analysis for the same. But if you want to talk about car, you are going to talk about car. But if you don't want to talk about car, you can talk about different scene. Okay, the, the, the schema that you are going to use is gonna be something like this, okay? If we are going to talk about cars, you are going, for example, on no competition in the EV segment, environmental friendly, economic to drive, uh, 0 0.4 per kilometer, government subside 8%, and et cetera, et cetera, Hue, Ante, EV market, and so on. But let us see another example. What about if you want to talk about McDonald's swap analysis? Ah, you need to look for opportunities and all the aspects. You are going to start internal, external, uh, witnesses, and so on. For example, right here, talking about strength, ranks are very high on the furniture magazine, most admired list community-oriented, global operation all over the world, cultural diversity in the food, excellent location, assembly line operation, use of top quality product. But at the same time, we, we, we can talk about witnesses, failing pizza tests, market, just limiting the ability to compete with pizza provider because sometimes uh, they sell pizza. High training cost due to a high turnover, minimal concentration of organic food, not much variation in seasonal product, and so on. When we talk about opportunities, open more joint adventure, being more responsive to healthier option, advertising, Wi-Fi service in the branches, expanding on the advertising of being more sociable, responsible, and so on. And what about threats? Marketing strategy that entice people from small children to adult, lawsuit for offering unhealthy food, contamination risk that include the threat of E. coli contaminate, and so on. Okay, I guess that I already explained you and give you some ideas how you can uh, create your own. Okay, you are going to be together in group of, let me see, four, I guess. And you are going to think in a product and you are going to make a sweep analysis. But you are not going to spend your time just writing. Let me see, I'm going to uh, assign you in four. Let me see, 
if it is going to work. Let me show you if uh, we have 19. Oh, man. It's gonna be difficult, I guess. Yes. Okay. If I put you in C, one is gonna be in four. Okay, what you are going to do is this. You are going to sync in a product or you are going to create your own product. Of course, that is not gonna be complicated. Van a pensar en un producto nuevo que no sea complejo. Eh, uno de ustedes va a pensar en, en las fortalezas, otro va a pensar en las oportunidades, otro va a pensar eh, en las cosas eh, en, la, en, en las cosas negativas, ¿no? Pero no, no se centren mucho en, en, en estar escribiendo, no traten de organizar sus ideas así como más a uh, like in your mind. And that way later on you are going to explain it, okay? Any questions so far from here? Hello? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. okay, vamos a crear equipos. Sí. Vamos a crear equipos. Ustedes van a crear un producto y le van a aplicar el swap analysis. Y van a pensar en las cuatro palabras importantes. Sí. I'm going to give you first uh, five minutes. Primero les voy a dar cinco minutos para que se vayan organizando en su producto. Luego hablamos de algunos detalles que encuentren. Later on, we are going to give you more time. And at the end, you are going to... Uh, your group is going to explain. ¿Se acuerdan de los tips? ¿Qué es lo que tienen que hacer en su equipo? What you have to do in your team? You have to look for your for your leader. Okay. Any question? No. Let me see if I got 19. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One is going to be four people. The rest, they are going to have three. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you in order that you, okay, four minutes, it is enough. Remember the name of your product and you are going to think about the four different aspects, okay? Here we go. Rodrigo, Rodrigo,
Hi, Mr. Hello, sir. Me cambiaron de grupo. Really? Sí. Al grupo completo. Teacher. Hello, sir. Sí, doctor. Sí, de darnos el privilegio para poder compartir pantalla, por favor. Ah, ok. Uh, another thing that I would like to tell you is that you can use the information on page number 14 of your material. The info that I'm asking you to do is just there. Let me see. It is no 14, 16, I guess. Yeah, 16, sorry. Yes, 16. Yes. Let me see what it is. I'm going to show you where it is. Okay, right here. Design a new product, service, your company might launch to the market. Brainstorm usable question to get information related to each of the stage of the swap analysis, run to swap analysis based on the result of the swap analysis. Discuss whether the idea for the new product service has potential to move to the next step in the new product development cycle. And you have the four stages, a strength, witnesses, opportunities, and strength. Okay, I'm going to let you share your screen with the rest of people. And I'm going to give you the last four minutes in order that you can do it, okay? I know that is a short time, but well, online time are short. Okay, Mister. Here we go again. Teacher, no tengo grupo. Ah, okay, I'm going to assign to, let me see to the number. Okay, number six. I'm going to assign to number six, okay? Okay. Go. Yeah. 
What's going on with my camera? I don't know. Cause okay. Okay. If you want to share your ideas, you can do it now. Just tell me, okay. I'm going to explain you about this product. Who wants to do it? Remember that you are not going to give me a long list about every keywords, just a general. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, we speak for a uh, face mask. Face mask. Um, Maria Elena, are you going to explain us your product? Uh, um, okay. Partner, help me. <laughs> uh, we speak for the face mask. And strangers, uh, all the people need to use masks uh, for protect by COVID in ultimate years. And witness um, the face mask break quickly. Um, are used for a short time. Opportunities um, in the next years, and if you know how, uh, there will be sales market and trips. Other companies can handle lower um, production costs. Okay, general ideas. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to share your product? Hello. Teacher is Simohuna, pequeña. Bueno, presentation. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Ana Lilian. Okay. Eh, Rodrigo, si gusta. Okay. Shampoo for men, extreme, is a necessary personal hygienic product. New and innovative quality product is offered different characteristics, control of hand roof and hair loss compared to other shampoos. Could advertise technical causing inspection and cataloging is a representative product only for men. Opportunity, there are few brands of the market for men sign. Most of them focus on feminine care. Opportunity to expand into other types of product for men, such as the desodorant, shaving creams, among others. Is it sold in stores, pharmacies, supermarkets? This archiving greater customer award. Awareness. 
Okay. Witnesses new product that recently entered the national market. Uh, trials, indirect competition, already existing reorganization uh, on shampoo. Competition with products that belong to the same line source uh, as head and shoulder clear. Uh, head and shoulder clear. Okay, I like that. Congratulations. You did a great job. Okay, and somebody else? Because we are so close to finish. The rest, they are going to present it on. Uh, Monday, I guess. Okay. Our group. Uh, yes, was Carlos, I think. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Sorry, my group, please. Okay. I'm Beatrice. I'm Beatrice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to present. I don't know if um, Beatriz or Carlos want to read. Oh, well. A friend, Proganisate Brand, Shaper. Uh, yeah, uh, Choris. <laughs> uh, all right. His product is Choris. A strange, reorganizes the brand, Shaper, delicious, agility in the preparation. Um, continue. All right. Witness, uh, witness, no health food. There is no extension in the product line. Uh, identify a location for expand and offer delivery. Um, for threats, there are many competitors in the market and the weather like rain. Okay, thank you very much. I do really appreciate your participation. I know that you are able to do it. All of you are able to do it, okay? I keep in mind the people that participate today, the rest are going to do it uh, on Monday. So please uh, try to polish what you are going to show us, okay? Okay, I'm going to check up again the attendance because we are time. Ana Beatriz Campos. Hello. Ana Beatriz. It's not here. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay, Carlos. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Uh, Claudia Raquel. Present. Galileo. No está Galileo. José Jonathan. Present. Okay. Um, José Rodrigo. Present. Teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present. Present okay. teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, ahí está Laurita. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Present teacher. Where is it? Okay, Lorena Oman, sorry. Right. Ah, hasta hoy veo la cámara. Now I can see. <laughs> I can see okay. your face now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Maria Concepcion. Present. Se nos fue Lorena Mil. Estoy, Tengo. teacher. Se nos fue, se nos fue. Ya estoy, aquí estoy. María Elena. 
I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay. Um, Mayra. Present, teacher. Me cuesta ese nombre, seguro. Pero ella me dijo que le gusta más el primero. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Ok. Santos Misael. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, Wendy. Present, teacher. Eh, Jenny. Present, teacher. Eh, Yesenia. Lizette. Present, teacher. Present. Ok, ok, ok. Ya vi que le gusta más Lizette a usted. Creo que sí. La vez pasada tenía el nombre de Lisette o quizás tiene alguien que se llame así. Brian. Present teacher. Good okay. evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, I need to talk with... Uh... Sure. Hello, sir. I didn't mention Diego. Sí. Present teacher. My goodness, Diego Ernesto Molina is here, okay? I do really apologize. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, today I need to talk with Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernandez. I don't know if you are going to have time to talk with me, at least uh, sometime. Is that possible, Carlos? Okay, okay, the rest, um, I want to thank you to be here with me. I know that sometimes it's really difficult because you work a lot the whole day and at the same time, you need to take care of your uh, kid. Maybe you have uh, children and also your husband, wife and so on, but Remember that everything, all your effort at the end, you are going to have a reward. Okay. Okay. Have a happy weekend, and I hope to see you on Monday. Okay. Good evening. Good teacher, night. teacher. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, Juan Carlos Rivas, tell me. Good evening. Good night. Good Diego. Good evening, teacher. Good night. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Diego. Diego. Consulta, teacher. Dígame, Diego. Acerca de los ejercicios en la plataforma. Ok. ¿Hasta cuál tenemos que haber terminado esta va. semana? Mm, let me see. It has to be 1.5, let me, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to check up. I don't know if you have time. No sé si se van a esperar a que lo revise, sí, ¿verdad? Pacha. Sí. Okay. Acuérdense que como no iniciamos justo el, el lunes. Ok. Cuatro. Está que no veo. Hold on, I can access. Let me try my other computer. I don't know if somebody have it there and I can tell you. Yes, because the 1.5 uh was uh yesterday i guess 1.6 maybe you have sí. to relate with the topic tenemos que relacionarlo con el con el con el tema para que nos 
Okay, I got it here. Teacher, yo ya las terminé, las de la unidad 1 las terminé todas de un solo mes. ¿Eso es un problema o está bien? No. That is not any problem at all. Yeah. La 1-7. Um, yeah, yeah, one seven. Corresponde hoy. Yes. I don't know what's going on. I can access now. Okay, 1.7. If you have any questions so far, you can send me a message and I can help you, okay? Yo le escribí, teacher, pero ya no me contestó. Uh, really? Really? At what time? Tell me. Okay. ¿A qué hora me escribió? Dime. Le digo, permítame. Ahorita, ahorita. Déjeme buscarlo aquí. Teacher, good night. Good night, bye bye. Voy a ir a cenar, ya no voy. <laughs> ok, bye bye. Chao. Como a las 2.45, teacher. ¿45? Sí. Let me see. In the group, teacher. Jesus, I, I, I can show you my, my, my WhatsApp. How can I show you? I don't have any. En, en, en. Tengo mensajes de las 12 y 4 y luego de las 3 con 39 pm. No tengo de 2, de 2.45. Good night, teacher. Good night. Quizás le escribí aquí en Noel, entonces. Envíen Como okay. a las 2.56 aparece, teacher. Envi envíeme algo, permítame. Okay. Déjeme ver. En el grupo creo que lo puse bien. Ah, lo puso en el grupo. Sí, eh, pero le escribí aparte también por lo que me dijo de que me iba a mandar a hacer. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sí. Y, no, y me recuerdo que sí le respondí, pero quizás no. Bueno, ya lo voy a revisar, me disculpo. Eh, ok, teacher. Y luego. Teacher, le, le me puso en la lista que al momento quizás me sacó el internet. Ah. En la, la asistencia. Exacto, perdón. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Blessings. See you, see you, see you. Okay. Carlos. How are you, Carlos? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can't hear you. I don't know why. Your microphone is not working. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? A little bit. I don't know. Maybe you are having problem with your answer because I, I can I can hear you. Ah, a noise. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, now it's better. Okay. Now it's better. Okay. Um, I know that you have been pretty busy with your job. Yes. 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 I, I, I know that you are really busy. And I and I and I know you your effort in order to be here in classes. And and sometime um uh, I know that you prefer not just to talk, but I know that you are processing all the information in your brain. Yes. I don't know if you have, yes, thank you. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Yes, teacher. Bueno, tenía un comentario y una pregunta. Okay. El, el, el comentario acerca de lo que le estaban diciendo. Al final los dos métodos son, son efectivos, son buenos. Okay. Pero, pero no sé si usted notó de que en la última conversación que tuvimos, donde había, estaba Mr. Rivas y, y otras personas, yo creo que la gente o, o nuestros compañeros o mis compañeros entendieron quizás más cuando les, les empezó a corregir las palabras. Sí. Yo creería de que quizás venimos un par de, 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 de métodos o, o de ciclos o de módulos donde sí nos hacían ese tipo de correcciones. Tal vez solo deje terminar el, el, el párrafo o, el, o toda la conversación y, y sí es de... de, de, de de que repitamos 
lo, lo que no se puede pronunciar bien, porque uno puede confundir a los demás o uno mismo se puede ir confundiendo. Okay. O sea, ese es comentario nada más. Sí, okay. y, y la otra, la, la otra en la que sí le quería pedir un poco de ayuda, yo ya hice mi tarea, pero con una estuve dudando bastante. Los adverbios de, de adverse clause, eh, me gustaría que lo reforzáramos un ratito, si se puede. Ok, perfecto. Let me see if I got something here in order to show you. Mm, see where I have something like this. Let's see if I got it here. This one. Al, al inicio yo entendí, teacher, de que el, el, la, la oración tiene como dos partes. Okay. Y, la, y la que se repite es la que, o la primera es la que se anulaba para no hacerlo dos veces. El sujeto y el verbo, me parece. O, o sí, el, 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 así general, es verdad. Generalmente nos aparece una adverb clause y una independent clause aparece una cláusula adverbial y una cláusula independiente. Sí, perdón, lo que me confundió a mí era de que no es obligación o no es obligación siempre quitar el de la primera parte. A veces es el de la segunda parte, ¿verdad? Ah, ya, ya entiendo su pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí es de tener mucho cuidado. Déjenme en el material que les envié Creo que aparece algo explicado. Déjenme ver si es este que tengo abierto. Creo que es este. Bueno, aquí dice reduce an adverb clause. An adverb clause can only be reduced if the subject in both clauses is the same. Aquí habla bien claro y dice que una cláusula adverbial puede ser reducida. Si el sujeto de ambas cláusulas es el mismo. ¿Sí? Sí, eso, eso sí lo entendí. Ok, va, esa parte está bien. Uh, aquí, por ejemplo, da un ejemplo. De, nos está diciendo, while driving to work, and got a call from her boss. Porque está saliendo de aquí. While she was driving to work, and... Ese ya está comprendido, pero lo que le quiero explicar es que no se puede, por ejemplo, decir while driving to work, her boss called her. Aquí en vez de, de, de cambiar el nombre por el pronombre, no se puede. No se debe de hacer. Para esa parte está comprendida. Ahora cuando vemos el time closes, advert close, let me get to get this. Begin with la, las cláusulas adverbiales comienzan con after, before, while, and since. Can all yes. be re reduced. Cuando comienzan con eso, eh, todas pueden ser reducidas. The adverbial phrase can also come after the main clause. Eh, la frase adverbial también puede venir después de la, la principal. Eso es lo que usted me decía. Peter sí. went to bed after finishing his homework. At the same time. Aquí aparece como durante el mismo tiempo. Sometimes while can be omitted at the beginning of the sentence. Algunas veces la palabra while se puede omitir al inicio de la oración. Por ejemplo, dice while I was walking to work, I saw Mary. Y después quitamos eh, cuando hay una forma del be y el pronombre, entonces diría while walking to work. I saw Mary. Pero también podríamos decir, walking to work, I saw Mary. ¿Me comprende esa, 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 esas dos partes? Sí, sí, sin embargo, esa, esa no, no, no la utilizamos, pero a, ahorita, ahorita lo estoy sí, viendo. Sí, 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 es que esta no, no la habíamos visto. 
Pero la reducción que hicimos fue esto. A, aparte de la que ya se puede hacer, de, del adverbio, también se puede quitar el, el, la palabra, no solo el guay, va, sino que todas las palabras. Mm, After, el, before. No. no o solo, el, solo, solo aplica para el guay. Yeah, en, this case, en este caso solo está hablando de guay. Algunas veces. But it can be omitted at the beginning of the sentence. No es que todo el tiempo. Hay que tener cuidado. Sí, mm, sí, sí. sí eh, adverb clause beginning with when can begin with upon plus ing when they are reduced. Por ejemplo, dice, when I turned 21, I got married. Uh, upon turning 21, I got married. Or we can say, on turning 21, I got married. Pero estas, uh, estas casi no las explicamos porque lo que nos competía a nosotros era esto de after, before, and while. Por eso es que ahí en, en el material encuentran eh, mucho. Por ejemplo, eso de causas y efectos no, 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 no estaba como inmerso dentro de la explicación. Porque como nos centramos justamente en lo que nos dice el manual. Sí. Pero, pero luego, cuando ya va, vayamos avanzando en otro módulo, vamos a tener que ir viendo algunas cosas ya diferentes de como las vimos en los niveles previos. Ok. Si es que... Uh, no sé, tenía otro... Tanto material que tengo. Este creo que sí lo estuvimos leyendo poco. Creo que, bueno, aquí era en forma normal, eh, eh, pre, eh, explicando que era una cláusula adverbial, el grupo which contain a subject and a finite verb that describe or, or add the meaning of a verb in object in another adverb. Ese es como el concepto de lo que es una cláusula. Adverb clause can be divided into, esto es la otra cosa, miren. Que los adverbios, las cláusulas adverbiales se, dividen, se pueden dividir en ocho diferentes. Y eso tiene que saberlo. Nosotros solo hablamos de... De tiempo. De Time. tiempo. Hemos hablado de reason, de concession, de contra, de resolve, de purpose, de place, de manner. No hemos hablado de, de todo eso. ¿Ya? <risa> es bien extenso esto. Sí. Por eso es que vamos así como por cucharaditas, ¿no? Aquí dice, these clauses are introduced by when, whenever, while, as, before, after, till, until, sin, and as soon as. Ustedes hemos visto en el módulo 2 solo algunas de estas. No las hemos visto todas. Claro. Que si las vemos todas de una vez, creo que van a decir, no, 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 me voy. <risa> Tenemos un ejemplo. When he arrives, he will tell us the truth. Mary was dancing while John was singing. The train left us, we arrived. Entonces, solamente son eh, cláusulas adverbiales. No hemos aplicado la reducción aquí. Sí. Solo estoy a, como, como, como en la previa. I will stay with you until your mother comes home. Ahí está. Hasta que tu mamá regrese. After he had got the money, he left home immediately. Después de que él obtuvo el dinero, él se fue para su casa. Entonces, tantos ejemplos. Aquí ya vamos hablando de razones, pero eso no nos compete a nosotros. Que esto es, es, es amplio. Pues es, es bastante amplio. Ahorita solo nos centramos en las de tiempo. Porque si nos ponemos en eso, no terminamos hoy. Es, es sumamente amplio. Sí, pero, pero cuando, cuando hice en la plataforma lo, los ejercicios, ahí entendí un poquito más. Okay. Eh, porque solo teníamos dos ejemplos, sí. pero, pero por eso le digo eh, que había uno que me pareció un poco diferente. Incluso el, 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 el verbo había, había que cambiarlo. Ah, ya sé de cuál me está hablando. Me está hablando de una que aparece el verbo en pasado. Sí. Y usted tuvo, tenía que cambiarlo a ING. Uh, <ríe> es de esa sí. que te estaba hablando, sí. 
I'm showing you this information. Ahí aparece la, alguna explicación de lo que de lo que sí vimos. Y eh, de mantener en, en mente esto, to reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, uh, you need to eliminate the subject in adverb clause. Mire, aquí le dice a dónde. Elimine el sujeto en la cláusula adverbial, no en la otra. Uh -huh. if, the clause, if the clause has a form of the verb be, si la cláusula tiene una forma del verbo be, elimínela. En ese caso se elimina el pronombre y la forma del verbo. Por ejemplo, he was driving. If the clause has any other verb different from be, add a gen G. Si tiene una forma diferente del verbo be, solamente es cuando le va a agregar ING. De lo contrario, no se le agrega. Si el Dale. verbo es el, el be, se deja así si el, como está. No, si, si es una forma del verbo be, va a eliminar esa forma. Ah, oh, sí, 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 el was, uh, other, yes. otros. Mm. Así es, así es que ahí está. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, ok, you're welcome, sir. I hope to see you next Monday. Good night. Ok, good night, bye-bye.